everybody, I'm Kendra Brownlee, the Director of Alaska Planning and Marketing, and I'm here today to walk you guys through an actual cruise tour. I'm here in Whittier. I've just gotten off beautiful Island Princess, where I did a northbound voyage of the glaciers itinerary. I started in Vancouver, BC, and I went to Juneau, Ketchikan, Skagway, Glacier Bay National Park, which was so spectacular, and also College Fjord. Now I'm here in Whittier, and I'm about to get on our direct to the wilderness train, which is gonna whisk me away to the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge. As you can see, it's right across the street from the ship. It's so amazing. Also, you're probably wondering, Kendra, where's your luggage? Princess handles this so seamlessly. So last night on the ship, I got two bag tags. They look like this. Because my cruise tour ends in Anchorage, I have one bag that was really just meant for my cruise stuff, like my high heels for formal night and all that fun stuff. That bag, I put this tag on that says join me in Anchorage. I'm not gonna see that bag for three days. My other bag that I need for tonight with my toothbrush and my coats and everything, I put this tag on that says join me tonight. Thank you, it's so beautiful, I'm so excited. This is our exclusive direct to the wilderness rail service, which is gonna take us directly to Denali. As you can see, we're up here in these beautiful glass domed cars where we can have a drink, we can listen to the commentary of our rail guide. Downstairs is actually where we order breakfast and lunch. Okay, we're just leaving Whittier, saying goodbye to the Island Princess, and we're on the train, and we're about to go through the Anton Anderson Memorial Tunnel, and this is the longest shared-use tunnel in North America, and it's really cool. <laughs> okay, so now I'm downstairs in the dining car, right downstairs in my own car, and I'm here to have breakfast, and look at this lovely menu. There's tons of options here, and Trent is my server. Hi, Trent. Good how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. So, welcome down to the dining car. So, these will be our menus that we have down here. Inside, we're going to have our breakfast items and our lunch. Uh, right here on the left-hand side, we'll have our breakfast. If you open it up, we'll have our lunch on the other side. It is all-day dining on these days, so whatever you like, we can go and grab for you. Oh. Get the egg benny. Oh, the king crab eggs benedict looks and delicious. And you can't leave Alaska without trying reindeer sausage. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yum. Okay, so I'm here with our rail guide, Alyssa, and okay. Alyssa's job is to make sure that everybody on the train is informed of what's happening and to point out wildlife and to tell us all about our surroundings. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, Alyssa. Absolutely. It's so nice to meet you and be here with you here today. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so tell me why you think that the train is such an important experience for our cruise tour guests. Yeah, absolutely. It's like a gateway into the rest of the state. By riding this train, you're able to explore all types of environment that Alaska has to offer going from ocean views to forest views to tundra, which gives you incredible diversity. So you really get to see all the different types of environments. Okay, we're just about to get to the Denali area and I'm super excited to show you about our welcome envelopes. These lovely rail guides got on board, just came on board and passed these out to every single guest. And I'm gonna tell you what's inside. So first of all, on the outside, it has my name and it tells me what room I'm gonna be at at the Denali Princess right there. I'm gonna be in J228, very exciting. And it also tells me what coach I'm gonna take for my transfer over there. When you open it up, it also shows me that tomorrow I'm gonna to be on the 8 a.m. natural history tour and where to meet for that and what time. So super important information here. We try to make this as seamless as possible for our guests. When you open it up, here's your room key. So there's no need to stand in line. You don't have to check in. There's no reception desk to check into. You just get your key and go to your room and my luggage will be waiting for me. Also in this packet are bag tags for my next location. So tomorrow morning, I will put this on my luggage and set it outside my room and it will be transported to our next lodge. Also in here we have meal vouchers. So I purchased the princess meal package that goes with cruise tour AA3. So I have all of the vouchers that I need for that that I purchased. So you can use this just like a credit card or cash. You just go to the restaurant, you eat and then you pay with this voucher. Also included in this is our lovely campus map of the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge. Can't wait for you to see it. And our 
princess patter. Just like on the ships, on land you also get a princess patter and it tells you what's happening at the lodge for the day. So, as you can see, we try to make this as easy as possible. I can't wait to show you to the Denali Princess. We're almost there. See you in a little bit. And now we're here at the Denali Train Depot. And as you can see, the buses are here waiting for us, or motor coaches as we like to call them. And we're gonna head over on a quick five to 10 minute bus ride to the lodge. We'll be there soon, come on. We're finally here at the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge. The sun is out, it's a beautiful day here in Denali Park and I'd love to show you around. This is my room. As you can see, my luggage has miraculously appeared. This is how we do it here at Princess. Ta-da! So easy, so seamless. Here's my lovely room. As you can see, this particular room configuration has one king bed. Not all room configurations are the same. This is the main building of the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge. Here you'll find the front desk where you can reserve land excursions and get answers to any questions you may have from our warm and welcoming staff. Downstairs is the River Run Espresso Bar where you can get morning coffee or a cinnamon roll as well as other breakfast treats. It's open from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. There's also a gift shop nearby where you can purchase great gifts to bring home for friends and family. At the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge, there are plenty of dining options to choose from. Enjoy fresh Alaska seafood at the upscale King Salmon Restaurant, or go casual at Grizzly Burger, serving great burgers and shakes. The Lynx Creek Pizza and Pub is a guest favorite, and the ideal place for a casual bite, like pizza, delicious sandwiches, salads, and ice cream, and of course, a cold beer or soft drinks. With late hours, it's ideal for meeting up and sharing the day's adventures. Also, if you don't feel like leaving your room, you can call in and have a pizza delivered right to your room. You can also unwind at our new fireside patio or stop by Fanny Q's Saloon, our newest restaurant and bar, offering locally inspired dishes like bison sliders and a dessert Fanny Quigley was known for, blueberry pie. In the evening, Fanny Q's also features live entertainment. Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge features several gift shops and boutiques that offer a wide variety of Alaska products. Among them are unique shops like the Christmas Cabin and the Bath House. And if you don't have room in your suitcase, don't worry. We offer shipping so you can have your items sent directly to your house, as well as to your family and friends. I just had a great night at my room and now I'm ready for my day. So according to my little welcome envelope, it tells me that I should put my bag tag on and my luggage out at 7 a.m., which I did. So this is my luggage. I'm gonna set it out here. They're gonna whisk it away. I'm gonna go on my park tour. When I arrive at the McKinley Princess, it'll be in my room. Easy as that. I'm here at the beautiful Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge. I'm so excited to be here. This is the pinnacle experience of any princess cruise tour. I'm here with my good friend Bonnie Westland who's the general manager of this beautiful place. Bonnie thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. Good morning. Good morning. So Welcome you to Denali. Us, I know it's so beautiful. <laughs> Isn't this amazing so, day? Beautiful weather. So Bonnie you are in charge of this amazing place which is quite large. Can you tell us a little bit about the lodge itself? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, the hotel here is 31 years old. It opened in 1987 and it originally opened with only 157 rooms. And how many do we have today? 663. Oh my gosh. So it's a uh, it's 22 acre campus. Um, we have eight food and beverage outlets, eight gift shops. Uh, there's so many things for guests to enjoy and experience here. And that's why, you know, time, time is typically pretty short for our guests. They're one or two night stays. And, uh, you know, as we were talking earlier, you know, two night stays are pretty important for these guests. Yeah. So one of the things we really like to stress, it's so important. If guests want to experience things like the longer park tour into Denali National Park, if they want to go rafting, if they want to do any flight scene, 
they need to, to choose a cruise tour that has two nights at the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge. It's so important. I mean, I wouldn't recommend any it any other way for my family. Absolutely. You know, that's probably our number one complaint here when I talk to guests. We're leaving already. We didn't get time to do all the things that they wanted to do. Yeah. And, and the park tour, too. You know, we have um, several different park tours to choose from, but the most popular ones are the Denali Natural History Tour, which is a four to five hour experience and then there's the tundra wilderness tour which is a seven to eight hour experience that tour is a much better park experience and that's why they're here they're here to see denali national park see the wildlife see the mountain and see this beautiful untouched wilderness so i definitely recommend the two night stay and the tundra wilderness tour we get much higher scores um, and guest satisfaction right. um, if they make those decisions you so come all this way you have to stay for two nights and see it all we really really encourage that so also also, Bonnie, tell us, um, give us your insider hacks on the property. Like, what are your favorite? What's your favorite drink or what's your favorite activity? Abs oh my gosh, it's hard to narrow down to one. <laughs> There's so but many. Uh, a couple of my favorite things. I love the deck at the Grizzly Bar and Grill. It's hands down the best deck in Denali. On a sunny, warm day, it's the spot to be to be sipping a nice blueberry mojito and maybe having some nice smoked pulled pork nachos oh my gosh, or a fresh amazing. burger. And we also hand batter our fish and chips. It's also a, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Another one of my favorite places to sit is out here behind Building J. It's nice and quiet. You just hear the river and uh, you can really connect with nature and the wilderness all around us. Awesome. My Last night I ate at um, the King Salmon restaurant and I had some fresh halibut and it was amazing. It was so I'm delicious. so glad you enjoyed it. That's yeah. one of my favorite dishes it too. It was great. It was great. Well, everybody, I hope that you can get up to this beautiful lodge and meet Bonnie yes. and see her backyard. Come um, say hello. Yes. Thank you so much for your time today. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Hi everybody, I'm so excited. I'm about to get on the on my bus for the natural history tour into Denali National Park. Super excited to see everything the park has to offer. This tour is four to five hours. It's the natural history tour. And convenient for you, the bus picks up right outside the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge. We make it so easy. See you in the park. Keep in mind that most cruise tours include either the Denali Natural History Tour or the Tundra Wilderness Tour. And if you want the longer Tundra Wilderness Tour, we recommend choosing a cruise tour that includes two nights at Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge. Hi everybody, I just finished my Natural History Tour in Denali National Park and it was amazing. I saw a bear in the distance, I saw a moose, we met a native at the Baskin who talked about their culture and their history. I, we went to a little savage cabin where we saw lots of interesting information there about homesteaders. It was really great. I highly recommend it. Next stop is our Mount McKinley Princess Lodge. Okay, everyone, here's my motor coach to get me down to the Mount McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge. It's gonna take about between two and two and a half hours, and I will see you there. Hi, everyone. We just arrived at the Mount McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge. I'm so excited to show you around. Let's go. And this is my room, so let's go. Let's see if my luggage made it here. Oh, here it is. Kinder Brownlee luggage right here. Okay, so now that my luggage is here, why don't you take a look around my room? I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of the property. We've made the Mount McKinley Princess Lodge as comfortable as possible for our guests. There's a wide range of restaurants, like the sophisticated North Fork restaurant. There's also great casual options to dine and unwind at the popular 2320 Alaskan Grill, the Base Camp Bar and Grill, and the Coffee Brew and Espresso, where you can pick up your latte just the way you like it. One of the best features of the Mount McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge is its expansive deck, where you can enjoy a relaxing glass of wine or a beer and experience magnificent Denali, North America's tallest peak at 20,310 feet. This is why guests come all the way up here, to see this soaring mountain. And this lodge offers the ideal opportunity to view it from the grand deck. 
Okay, let's talk a little bit more about the Mount McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge. This lodge was built with the sole purpose of giving our guests a great view of Denali, formerly known as Mount McKinley. It's only 40 miles away from the peak as a bird flies, so you get a great view. In fact, we're so focused on this that you can even put your name in at the front desk and put your name on a wake-up call list in case the mountain comes out while you're sleeping. Isn't that cool? Also, this lodge is so remote that up until a couple years ago, we were off the grid and we had to generate our own power here. It truly is a wilderness experience. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the differences between the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge and the McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge. So I know it can be a little confusing. So Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge is located one mile from the park's entrance. So it's very close to the park and it's very busy. There's a lot going on there. People are coming and going from their park tour. It's really a hub of activity. The Mount McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge sits on the south side of Denali and, and it really this, where we're at right now, we are in Denali State Park, so it's a little different. It's a different perspective. We have two lodges in different areas of the Denali region. This lodge truly is a wilderness setting. I mean, if you look around, it is, there's nothing out here. The nearest town is 40 miles away. It's secluded. It's a little slower pace. 460 rooms here, which is still quite large, but it doesn't feel like that. Also, we've done a ton of work here to make sure there's a lot of amenities on property so that guests have plenty to do while they're here. So one of the things that we have is the fireside patio. And this is a nice place where guests can gather. Right now it's a little early, but later you will see lots of people out here roasting marshmallows and having a glass of wine or a nice Alaska brew out here, enjoying the views of the mountain. Here we have the Hudson Theater, which is where we host lots of different presentations. For example, we host a Meet the Mountain Climber, where you get to meet someone who's actually climbed the mountain, and that's all free of charge. We also have naturalist presentations in the theater. The Hudson Plain, which is out front, which is a really, really interesting story of a plane that Princess paid to have refurbished in honor of Cliff Hudson, who was a famous pilot in the area. So I hope this has given you a better understanding of the difference between the Mount McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge and the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge. Please note, we recommend that you choose a cruise tour that stays at both the Denali Lodge and the Mount McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge. In fact, most of our cruise tours include both locations. Good morning, I'm here at the beautiful Mount McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge. This morning I had a little bit more leisurely morning. I got to sleep in a little bit, I got my coffee, I set my luggage out, which will meet me when we get to Anchorage. Also, I talked to some people last night and they're going on an excursion, so that should be fun, but I wanna go check out the treehouse. Now there's two trails that go up to the treehouse. This trail that we're gonna go on is a little bit uh, shorter and more direct, but a little bit more strenuous. There's another trail that's more leisurely and it's a little longer though. The tree house, just to remind everybody, was built last year in 2017. It was featured on the hit show Treehouse Masters. Let's go. One of the things that you can do if you come up to the tree house is you can be a part of Sappy Hour. This is a program where you get to sample some unique birch syrups that are local and also at some fun treats that are made from sap and syrup from the trees. Also, we have trivia in the tree house where you can test your knowledge of Alaska with your friends and family. And then lastly, we have the Tales of the Sourdough Expedition. And you go on a little hike and then your guide tells you the story of the first descent of Denali the Mountain. Also, if you haven't seen the show already, we have it playing inside the treehouse, so it's kind of fun. You can watch it being built on the episode of Treehouse Masters while you're in it. It's a great experience, and I hope you can check it out someday. Okay, let's talk about the competitive advantages. The most important competitive advantage for Princess Cruises is that each of our Voyage of the Glaciers cruise, which is a part of our cruise tour, gets two glacier experiences. Every single cruise tour gets Glacier Bay National Park and also College Fjord or Hubbard Glacier. These glaciers are spectacular and it's the reason why people are coming to Alaska. So it's so important that we hit that home with our guests. 
Also, our Direct to the Wilderness Rail service is an exclusive. Nobody else has this. So nobody else takes their guests right from the ship onto a train and whisks them off to the wilderness. Only we do that. Every single cruise tour goes to Denali National Park. The two top reasons why people are coming on a cruise tour, Glacier Bay National Park and Denali National Park. So this is super important. We have to remember to hone in on that. Also, Princess has five wilderness lodges that are purpose built just for our cruise tour guests. They're not open in the winter. They're only open in the summer. And they are here to make sure that our guests have a great time. They're built in key locations throughout the state that make Princess the best choice for a cruise tour. I'm headed to Anchorage right now for my last night of my cruise tour. See you there. I'm here everybody in Anchorage at the Hotel Captain Cook. I can't wait to go check it out. Let's go. Okay, let's check out my room here at the Hotel Captain Cook. Oh, well, look at here. Here's my luggage from last night. And here is the bag that we talked about in Whittier with all of my cruise stuff in it. It made it. Here's my lovely room with a beautiful view of the city of Anchorage. So tonight is my last night of my cruise tour. I'm gonna go out and wander the city and have some dinner and I'm gonna come back and go to sleep and tomorrow I'm gonna board my transfer and go to the airport. Come see why we're the number one cruise line in Alaska year after year.